Good morning guys, my name is Trevor. Welcome back to the Arctic Vet YouTube channel, Arctic Mama's Hidden Inside. Today we're going to do a little bit of work on Dorothy here. First off, starting with windshield wipers, super easy task, so I'm going to knock that out. And then later, we're going to go do the oil change. So, let's roll that intro. This is almost the easiest job on most cars. Just changing out the wiper blades. Bam, so there's just a little tab right there. You push that and release it. And then you can take your new one. Oh, we gotta pop off this because it's a Rain X one. Which I, I just, I really like these Rain X ones. So you open that up. And then right there we'll slide maybe there we go slide it all the way in like that and then of course that's gonna fall off <laughs> this boy wouldn't it <laughs> i told you guys it's an easy thing and here I am trying to do it with one hand and it's, it's making it look a lot harder than it is. So you know what, I'm gonna, I'll fix that in a minute. And then don't forget to take off the little wheel strip and this little piece because that's, you don't need that on there. That'll tell you when it's time to change them out. But the easiest way to know that your wiper boy needs changed is that it starts streaking when it's rain when it's raining or snowing or something like anything like that that's when you know it's time to change it and that's what these guys are doing so we just changed them out you know but i'm assuming they've probably never been changed so these are probably from the factory they got eighteen thousand miles on them that's all right i'm okay with that let me use two hands to finish this and then we'll cut into the wheel change there we go. Like I said, two hands makes this job so much easier. So, now we're on to the oil change. <laughs> Alright, well it's another day, another dollar, and we are officially breaking in the garage with an oil change on Miss Dorothy here. So this is the first automotive fix. I guess, besides airing up the tires and taking the brakes off that, that, that wasn't really a fix. That was just a, a temporary fix, I guess. So, first actual project in the car in the garage at the new house Audie's getting the heater going let's kick that puppy on and get to work in so luckily enough for us the jeep is high enough that i can just crawl under here get that cap loose it's gonna be a little bit warm, so I'm trying to keep my fingers out of it. Ooh, there we go. Ouch. Hey. So much for keeping my fingers clean. <laughs> They're dirty and that will need to change. It's not, it's not really hot. It's a little warm. And my plug, drain plug just fell back in. Okay, let me get my hands dried. All right, so up top now. Go ahead and break this free. Just the oil cap, and then I need to pull the dipstick. This is only my second oil change in here, guys, so bear with me. Oh, yeah, we're out of oil. Uh-oh. <laughs> Not a problem. And our filter, I'm going to set the dipstick down. Our filter is right there. Now, it's not very fun to get to, 
but it is manageable. I'm just gonna wrap a towel around it, help soak up some of that oil so it don't sit on there because it is going to have a little bit in there. All right, so there's our old filter. And what would an oil change be without an oil spill on the, on the ground there? Yeah. So we'll just take this filter out, put it back in the box, put this new ring down here on there, and then put our new filter in, and we'll slip it back in the top. And the bottom is still draining a little bit. All right, I got the new filter, new ring on, and we'll just quickly tip that in there. You guys can see what I mean by a little bit of oil comes out. So I'm just going to get that guy. <laughs> nice and hand tight there. Kind of like so. Grab my rag. Try and get a couple more spins on it. Maybe not. <laughs> it's nice and tight. I'll get the light in there, make sure it looks good. Then the filter should be done. All right, we got that bottom bolt plugged back in, drain plug back in. The filter is good to go. Now the last thing is to fill this up with some fresh oil. Now I'm not gonna be able to do this with uh, one hand because I need to hold that and pour this. So I'll show you guys afterwards. It doesn't need a full five quarts, but it does need a little over four. So we're gonna do four quarts, check it, pour a little bit, check it, and do that like we did last time, just a few times. So let's get to it. And there we go, job well done. If you guys enjoy this little vlog, smash that thumbs up. Don't forget to click the red subscribe button and we will see you in the next vlog. Have a great night and God bless y'all. Don't ever give up, God is here with you yeah. You are a child, nothing but love is true Just got to fix of you, keep your eyes on the prize That's life everlasting, only through Jesus Christ